Alright, so, um, just a quick update on what is happening right now. Sorry if you do hear backup noise. I'm just, I'm just watching a stream right now. Um, <laughs> um, but, um, you know what, let me, let me mute that. Alright, so, what's happening right now? Well, I'm not sure if you remember, but I created the game called Rebound on Unity, and I want to recreate it, but for PC, and this one's going to be multiplayer. Now, um, let me just bring something up that I was working on. Uh, Alright, so, I'm going to turn on my camera, excuse my messy room. Let's just do that. So, you can see I have this whiteboard here. Um, crap, can you see that? Okay, not very well. But you can see here's, I'm just planning out the game. Um, same thing here. Uh, is that good? Yeah. So I'm planning out the game on this whiteboard. Um, and ah, there we go. Um, and you know what? I can just read it to you. <laughs> and actually, before I start with that, oh, I just dropped my wrist. Wrist. Sorry. So, what's going on with the Steam Battalions? Well, that's currently on pause because um, I still have to. This, we still have to discuss it with his uncle. So here are the current barriers. So I decided to take on the side project while we uh, figure stuff out. So what's the problem? Well, the networking solution that I have, the sockets and TCP stuff, only works for private addresses, right? So technically, if somebody's in another house with another Wi-Fi network and I want to connect, I can't do that. Um, and instead, what I have to do is um, use something called port forwarding. And that's shit where you have to, sorry, that's stuff that you have to, that you, you um, it's essentially you have to mess with your router to allow other networks to join. I believe that's how it works. That's probably a very wrong definition, but essentially, um, main takeaway is you have to mess with your router. And you don't want every single person to download the app to have to mess with their router. Now, while talking to a uh, uh, wholesome fellow named Dioxin on the Discord server, he explained to me that some uh, the only other real option would be to have a central server. Now, the central server would be like the main hub um, of your game. Everybody was, would join on in that central server that server would have to, um, it, it would have to, uh, do, it would have to port forward. However, only that server would have to port forward. That way anybody, nobody, pl play, anybody playing the game, um, can just download the app and they don't have to port forward, um, at all. They can just hop onto that server, which is automatically port forwarding. It's like a middleman that port forwards for people for um, clients. Um, so there's that. However, he also said that um, it's more efficient. However, doing it on your household network is not safe, and he would highly recommend not doing that. So the only real other option, and the other one that he strongly suggested, is to use some sort of service where we can rent out a server and, you know, do, do it there. However, um, I would have, when I do go to Long Island, I think we're going on the 12th, or I'm going on the 12th, I'm going to have to discuss it with them and explain the situation, because I don't have any experience with this, so this would be a completely new endeavor, and I have no idea if I'll be able to do it um, in a fashionable time. Uh, so there's that, and also... I don't, I'm not going to ask his uncle directly um, to spend money on something. I'm just going to tell Sam, or my, my friend Sam, 
these are our options however this one you have to pay and he said that we don't mind uh, he doesn't mind paying but we'll see he said we could put on a website but then I reminded him I can't code like web web um, languages I'm not very good at that and on top of that um, that would mean setting up a website and it would also mean that you lose profits because not only are you renting the server but people aren't are no longer paying for the actual card game instead they're just go going on the free version online so that that idea was com was um, scrapped so while while we are doing this I'm going to be creating this new game called Rebound um, and technically it's not new, it's just a remake of the Unity one that I made, but with multiplayer and single player. Now, the single player is going to be different, but the whole concept of how the player moves is essentially the same. So, here is what it's going to be for multiplayer. So, the standard controls is, you tap to shoot in one direction, and you will be launched in the other direction. Um, you can think of it as uh, jumping on a trampoline. If you jump, no, not on a trampoline. You can think of it as, um, you know how, let's say you shoot a cannon down, then the cannon will be launched a little into the air and fall right back down, up. If you shoot it to the right, then the cannon might recoil backwards to, to the left. So something like that. So... You can check out my previous video on the rebound devlog um, on this channel. Um, but the controls are going to be pretty much the same. Um, however, power-ups will override controls. Now, the power-up, a power-up, would be um, this thing called a controller. And it, it won't actually display the name, but that's just going to be the uh, unlocalized name or the name for the power-up in the, in the game. And essentially, the controls, the standard controls, are just tap to shoot. You shoot downward, then you'll you'll fly upward. You'll launch yourself upward. But if that bullet hits a player, hits the other player, it'll kill them. Um, however, the controller will simply allow the, allow you um, to move with your um, uh, AD keys. So no jumping upward, just AD. Sorry. Huh. It's kind of late. Um, this will override standard controls, of course. And it will also turn the player from its original shape, which is a square, into a circle. Um, just to show kind of like you're rolling on the ground. Also, there's no jumping. Um, only moving left to right with this. But you can still, of course, click with your mouse button to, you know, launch yourself in the air. Now, single player, or sorry, let's continue with the rules for this. So the standard rules are hit, you get hit once by a bullet, you're dead. And this is a, a possibility. Gravity will switch at random. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, gra gravity will switch at random, just to make things a little more chaotic. Now, the single player, that's the reason why I decided to say this last is because I do not know what the single player were, will consist of. I want to get get the multiplayer done first because I think it will actually be simpler. Um, a single player, I'm not sure. Maybe there's levels. Maybe it'll be like, um, yeah. I really have no idea what it's gonna be. So we'll have to see with that. Some of my few few ideas were were a gravity switching. Um, and then gravity switching, kind of maze, obstacle coursing, and you progress to the finish line. Or maybe just the standard controls, however, it's an obstacle course and you progress to the finish line. I don't know yet. We'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. But that's everything on my whiteboard of plans. Um, so, yeah. Also... Um, with any time, uh, free time I have, I'm also doing some Sky Factory, so I, I just re decided to start up Sky Factory again. Also, I've got this, um, some console stuff in here, so, yeah. Uh, so I'll just open up Curse Forge. I'm using Curse Forge again, so, um... 
and it's not on the server, it's just me doing it myself. Because um, just the first, the first playthrough was a lot of fun, however, I think... Um, I think uh, we did cheat a little by adding that EMC table uh, whole thing, so, yeah. I kind of want to do this, like, you know, officially, but m unfortunately, my friend Ben, he said he was trying to stay off video games this summer because he played so much during the school year. For some reason, I have a feeling that his parents told him to, simply because his... Uh, you know, we're in ninth grade, we're going into tenth grade, colleges are now looking at what we're doing, and, um, he didn't get the best grades this year. Um, but, yeah. I got high honor, though. I did. Um, very happy for that. Um, if they had released it earlier, I would have been a lot more happy, but right now I just don't want to think about school. And, I got... I didn't. I only got one grade below an A minus, and half of them were A's, half of them were A minuses. Um, so, and I'm very happy with my biology grade and my math grade, especially in my history grade, and my actually all of my grades. English, I went from an A minus to an A to an A, or maybe it was just flat A's. History, I went from a B plus to an A minus. Biology, I went from a B minus to a B to a B plus, and math, I went from a B to a wait, no, from a B plus to an A minus to an A. Um, so I'm very happy with that improvement. Uh, that's just over the course of each semester. So semester mid, uh, I think it was semester one, mid semester two, and then semester two. I think that's it. Uh, I can't exactly remember if it was like semester one, mid semester one, and then semester two. I can't remember. I think it might have been the latter, but um, we'll see. But yeah, so this rebound project. So I, even though I didn't quite finish the Clinomania game, I am very. I'm still very happy I made it because it's my own structure for the for each game, and I'm very happy with this structure. I will now be repeating this structure in each of my pro programs or each of my games, which is why I've got it open here every time I'm making an app. So you can see here I've got the launcher, and when we run it, it's going to be this size. It's uh, 1200 by 700, um, the, and this should... This, this will fit well on any screen, to be honest, like my MacBook. My MacBook, this fits well. It it's got a good proportion, good good size. It doesn't. Um, it's not too big. It's not too small. Um, and the name is cap uh, all caps, R E colon bound. I don't know. I just think it looks cool. And then so yeah, we have the launcher, and then we go into the game, and we have the um, pre in it, the in it, and the post in it. Now the pre in it will always initialize like key managers, um, any of these managers up here. The in it will initialize the display and add any managers to the display or anything that needs to be added to this the display, such as the key manager or the mouse manager. Then the post in it is for um, it is for like loading up um, uh, like the actual like displaying stuff, for example, like. Um, loading up what's going to be displayed, so determining which what's going to be displayed. Um, so let's say we're, we start off in the main menu or settings, I don't know, something like that. The tick method, of course, just ticks stuff, and the render method renders stuff, nothing there yet. Uh, well, there is, but nothing's being drawn yet. Oh. The run met method, that's just standard, and start and stop is just regular. Um, then we have the image loader, the font loader. The only fonts I've loaded up are act is actually the original font from the original rebound jump game. Um, and it's just the blocks font um, that, I don't know, you'll, you'll see it if you watch my old video. Um, textures, and I have this new kind of, um, this new console thing where it actually says, 
um, what's saying this? It's a system, and it says successfully loaded animation containers, and then it says which class set it that was set in. Um, and the reason why it's a system is because there's going to be other things talking, such as the client or the host, and uh, depending on what's talking, uh, since it's going to be an online game. Okay, so let's just take a look at what I've got inside of my my Sky Factory world. It's called a fresh start. Um, but let's just load it up. Uh, just give it a minute. Also, Black Widow movie is coming out soon. It's coming out the 9th. I'm supposed to see it the 12th, although we're also supposed to leave on the 12th, so we have a little bit of a dilemma there. Um, but hopefully we can resolve that. Um, so first let's just delete those waypoints that we see. Yeah, delete that. Um, secondly, I do want to, let's see, so we need to fill a chest with cobblestone. Okay, we haven't even gotten close. Um, okay. So to make that, we actually need another bucket. Um, so what we can do is just go over here, because I have a clay sapling. Just do that, it'll regrow. And, okay, we don't have enough clay resin. That's unfortunate. So let's actually take some bone resin, bone, bone stuff, um, and just do this. Create a bone block, turn that into bone meal. And we can take one of the clay saplings, right? And do we not have, I don't, I do not have dirt. That's not good. Um, I suppose I could just plant it there. I don't know. Okay, you know what, we can just continue doing this. Um, we do need, oh shoot, whoops. We do need a faster, um, something faster than just regular dirt. If we, wait a minute, if we just, um, take a hoe and okay now that 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 doesn't work um never mind so let's just take this replant it um and we oh i might oh wait i already have clay okay so what we can do is put this in a three like that and fire this up and then we can take this clay bucket and we can take a piece of glass and I believe we need some cobblestone as well. I believe it's six, so we're just gonna need five there. And then in here I believe it's cobblestone like this, glass in the middle, water bucket here, and lava bucket, which you just need one, two, three, four cobblestone for. Just place that in here. Take that. Place that here. No. Oh, there we go. So water, lava, cobblestone generator. We have one bucket left because the lava takes up one. And then we can take this, use this water that I put here and place this right there. That should be creating more cobblestone now, a lot faster. Double the speed. And now we can take this water with this bucket, put it back into our infinite water source. Now if you're confused as to how I got this infinite water source, it's real it's just crushing saplings inside of the crushing tub. And it'll it'll put create water in here. And a thousand water in here will give you one bucket. A thousand M B is that? I don't know. Um, but anyways, oh, and this, if you put a torch underneath a cauldron, and then you put cobblestone in there, then it'll turn into lava immediately, which I like a lot better than Sky Factory 3. Sky Factory 3 was a lot slower, um, which I am not very 
I'm not a huge fan of, of the fact that it was a ton slower, but what can you do? Um, so, I did get the Stone Crook, um, and it was actually, it's, it's just cobblestone, um, with, uh, just turn cobblestone into sticks, and then turn those sticks into a crook, just like a wooden crook. Okay, so, what's next? So, we need to fill up this cobblestone bucket, and we need iron somehow. So, I'm not sure how we would get this, because it's, it's mud, mud cobblestone bucket, and it's cobblestone dirt, but we need, we need, oh, wait, 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 wait. We need a bucket with water, but it cannot be the clay bucket. But I just realized that there was an obsidian bucket. And the obsidian bucket is used by, is made by taking cobblestone. Can I put slabs in here? No, I cannot. Okay, so let's just turn this into cobblestone. Just like so. And I believe it's like this, yes. So I'll just continue doing this, and it doesn't break our bucket, so I just need one more, so. That's four cobblestone in there. Okay, fine. Uh, three, and then I need water. Just place this, and there we have obsidian. And now we can turn this into a bucket. Now we have a much better source of, uh, a, a much better bucket, so now, we, okay, let's just take cobblestone, because I do have one piece of dirt in my inventory, so one cobblestone, and we can just put this in, take that, and now we have this bucket of mud. So if I take a pig and I put this on it, it'll create a resource hog, I believe. And it gave me iron, an iron bucket. Wow. Okay, the logic there. So, then there's donut saplings, bacon saplings, and coal saplings. So let's just search up sapling. Um, so this is the redstone sapling. Iron. Okay, we haven't gotten iron yet. So, let's see, in order. Gravel. Okay, so coal is next. So that's a birch sapling. Birch sapling is sand sapling with water. That is fairly easy to get, so. So, sand with, wait, what was it? Sand, sand sapling, sand sapling, not sand. It was a sand sapling. What happened to my sand sapling? I am a hundred percent sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, so sapling. So we do have sand saplings. Just do this. I can put this in here. Put that in there, and now we have a birch sapling. And this coal sapling. Yep. It's... Whoops, wait, nope. Wait, sorry, my bad. Um coal sapling is smelting a birch sapling. So if we put this in here and smelt it, then we should get a coal sapling. Um, and we can just put that with our bonsai pots. Um, but actually, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just grow this manually because it's a bit tedious, the uh, regular growing process with the um, with the, uh, bonsai pot simply because it doesn't go into a chest, because I don't have iron to make a, um, hop hopper. Um, okay. So we do need more dirt acorns. We have some bricks. Um, I suppose... Wait, can we put leaves in here? No. I believe if we 
to you know what let's just let's just continue doing this and I believe I have one more yeah right here um, okay we have enough dirt now and just turn that into dirt and here's a cool hack we can actually put this dirt into here and then take leaves put that in we get grass and then we can take more leaves turn that into grass now we have three grass out of one dirt and then this grass of course can be used um, as tree crap so um, let's just do some of this and just use this bone meal actually yeah use the wooden crook get some coal now in here we can just oh we get coal pieces I forgot about that here we can do corn acorns just as so and now we have one coal piece and now we get that achievement okay what's next uh, so there's the donut sapling and the bacon sapling so let's just take a look at that donuts bacon sapling is bacon sugar okay 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 how do you get bacon I mean I, I'd assume a pig drops it but it doesn't look like that is the case so it looks like we use a squeezer or a chopper, chopper to do this. Okay. What about the donut sapling? Or what is it? Donut. Donut. Yes. Donuts. Donut. That's cookie. Don't. That's copper. Which one's the donut? Ah, here it is. That's donut sugar and apple. So we don't have sugar, but we have sugar cane seeds. We don't have cooked dough, but that's just wheat and water. So that's actually fairly easy to make. I can just take my grass. Let's just put this in here, and we will need to expand our storage. So... So let's just take some wood, do this, get some chests, put this here, now I have more storage, now one moment, chest builder, how do you make this, it's, oh, okay, so once we get iron, we can do this so let's just take our grass and we can start placing it here just like that and use this hoe and this water and now we can plant some seeds so we already have some wheat so we can use these seeds that's good And we can get more bone meal, right? Because we have some dirt here that we can grow on. And let's take out our... Let's actually throw away our wooden crook. And let's just use some cobblestone to... to create some sticks that way we can make some crooks and now I can just break these leaves where's my axe? there it is 
I'm gonna just take our bucket so that we can fill it up. Actually, no, we do not need <laughs> crap. Okay, whatever. Um, ah, yes, bone meal. So we can use this bone meal. And, of course, we can use the actual acorns and resin to make blocks of bone. And each block of bone makes nine bone meal. And I believe it was, let's see, donut sapling, cookie dough. Okay, we're going to need a lot of wheat. Okay. A lot more than eight. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here, but I'll make sure to check in with you guys uh, later on for both my project and Sky Factory. So, see you guys later.